Hello everyone and welcome back to Elden Ring. This is episode 16. Last time we went back through Rhea Lucaria. We explored some more of Leonia uh, and also checked out some catacombs, even revisited some previous areas to unlock some lovely things and experienced our first episode with the with the new update, uh, which gave us some some new stuff on the on the map and has uh, apparently fixed slash added uh, some NPC related things into the game, which is which is pretty cool. Uh, numerous other fixes uh, as well that I'm not necessarily interested in or aware of. Uh, I don't care about specifics to changing things or nerfing things or whatever because I think that that might spoil um, upcoming future content and stuff. So all that I know about the patch is uh, changes and improvements to uh, some NPCs. Apparently one of those uh, being being Kenneth, which we did check in with last episode. So at least we know that there's something there, just not yet. Um, I I believe the list of NPCs, and I don't have it off by heart, uh, the ones that I remember is Kenneth. I think there's one with Dialos. Uh, I also think there's one with, uh, his name's Gatekeeper Gostok, which we actually killed. So we're not progressing that one anytime soon. Um, I think there's others, but I'm... I, like I said, I, I can't remember, but there's a few. I've, I've read at least the NPC updates, so it's cool to know that uh, their quests or quests will continue and there is other stuff, because it was a bit of a weird one how uh, Kenneth just kind of stands there and doesn't really do anything. So uh, I wonder if that is sort of a thing where sort of maybe the dev team were a little bit pushed for time around the time of release and maybe had a few things that weren't finished yet or maybe it was maybe it's a bug and they were supposed to progress but they just didn't and they've added it into the update who knows uh, you can't really get that insight unless you were able to ask them directly and be like hey what's up with that who knows uh, regardless that's what multiple playthroughs are for this game and old Dark Souls and Bloodborne Sekiro all of it is built is built for replayability so we'll definitely have another go through new game plus with whatever has been missed or updated that we could have already potentially progressed past and what i assume a lot of people have already progressed past is i assume that i'm much further behind than a lot of other people because i'm taking my time <laughs> taking my time and uh enjoying going through this game at like a much slower and easier pace um because obviously I have to account for the fact that I upload the Elden Ring episodes like every other day um, and not every two hours or something, you know what I mean? Uh, so there are people that have finished the game multiple times by now and I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling. Look how much more of the map I got to, I've got to explore. Uh, this episode, I'm going to scour Leonia, probably this area. Uh, to try and find our lovely blind maiden, because we do have a Shabriri grape to give her, so Hayata is, should be around here somewhere. Um, and then, I think we're going to check out this manor that we've been directed to as well. Looks like we'll be able to reach that location. Um, and then, maybe try and figure out if we can do the carrion study hole, and figure out how to get to the divine tower of Leonia, so we can... Uh, repair our second great rune that we got from Renala. I think that's a pretty good pretty good place to start. So we first found Hayata here and then we next found her here at the Purified Ruins. That's not much of a distance so it makes me wonder whether she's still kind of within this vicinity or maybe she moves even further. So I'm gonna start uh, I'm gonna start around here um, and I'm going to run around until I find her because she's going to be around here somewhere. I'm hoping it's sooner rather than later um, If this drags on for a ridiculously extended period of time, I am obviously just going to Cut to my discovery of actually finding her <laughs> But we'll see what we will see what we can find The puppets besiege us. We'll see what we can find um, Together now now if she's, I, I, we don't know if she's moving along a particular pathway. That's another thing to keep in mind. Oh, and then it's actually a second thing to keep in mind, which I keep forgetting to put here, is I need to put down this here. 
uh, because I fuck, I do not know how to get down here. There's something down here as well. Uh, we've we've been at this point multiple times and tried going around this way, but there's a gap there that you can't get across. We've looked down it. I was looking for a way down. Um, so I'm gonna try that again. Maybe I'll see something. Maybe I'll see a way down that I haven't before. Uh, but I don't know if Hayeta is actually running in a particular direction, if she's maybe sticking along a path somewhere to actually go somewhere, maybe she'll end up at Gate Town, um, maybe she might be going through this way, I mean, fuck, she might even end up at the Boil Point Shack, uh, with the Blackguard, I, actually, that might even be a good place to check, uh, she might end up at the Rose Church, that's also another good thing to check, like, I don't know. Blind maiden who can't see. She could literally end up anywhere. So I'm going to check close in the vicinity first. Oh, look at this bad boy. Look at that. It's so terrifying, dude. Those, these iron chariots are no joke. I like how there's like, not necessarily corpses, but just like, remnants of the of the battle so they're they're supposed to mimic the faces of giants they're so fucked there's so many of them too there's actually even more running through this area than i thought there was before because i kind of we've kind of skimmed through this area running through uh avoiding the spirits i don't think hyeta would have gone that way she would have got killed she would have gotten killed How interesting that everyone's already dead here as well. Like, there's, like, scripted uh, dead bodies of, like, the Rhea Lucarian knights and everything. There's a... There's a stake of Marika here as well. Oh, hang on. We haven't gone up this hill. That would be why. I don't think we've gone up this hill. So, this is actually a new spot for us. While that battle goes down over there, we're gonna go up here. Ow. Can you not do that? Oh, we're in another one of these. Okay. Highway lookout tower. There, there will be a chest up here, I believe. We found a few towers like this already. Oh, the chest is on this floor. Ow. Nice. Glinstone Craftsman's Cookbook. Nice. Okay, number three. When I'm not getting hit, I'll read it. I think it might be safe to read it. Glinstone Cookbook number three. Oh, I forgot to check these tiers. Which one did we get last time? We got this one and another one. I think it might have been this one. Increases the power of charged attacks. Um... And this one, formed slowly over the ages where the oak tree's bounty falls to the ground. A defective crystal tier, which possesses absolutely no medicinal qualities. A lesson said to be learned the hard way for some, faith can be a volatile matter after all. So it causes the resulting concoction to explode. I'm trying to f figure out the usefulness in that. <laughs> you can just turn yourself into a into an explosive. Oh, you're the source of the illusions. That was not even a that was not even an instant kill. Well, you certainly fell to your death. <laughs> no item either. Ooh, carrion glint blade staff. Nice. Let's have a look at that. So we've got a glint stone and a glint blade staff. Two different ones. Boosts Carrion Sword Sorcery and boosts Glint Blade Sorcery. Gifted to Enchanted Knights and enhances Glint Blade Sorceries. It enhances Carrion Sword Sorcery. So if I hold this while also holding onto this, the magic casted from the sword will be stronger. So while the sword is effectively a way for you to wield a weapon and a staff, you can also still wield the staff to make these stronger. I mean, it works. Whatever works for you, dude. I still want to use Reduvia, but we need 13 Arcane if I want to use something like that. A Blood Blade. Reduvia Blood Blade. 
There's a bunch that I still need to kind of like use and experiment with. Especially Bloodhound's Fang. I need to actually put some more, um, I'm going to put some more points into that. With some smithing stones. And I want to use that a little bit more, that's fun. Uh, so let's have a look at this cookbook, uh, otherwise I'm literally going to forget and we'll, ne we'll never look at it at this rate. Because <laughs> I... Sometimes I get items and I just forget to read them in the moment and then it's gone forever! Like those, uh, those crystals. Alright, we can now make an albanuric pot. Wonderful. I'm assuming that's made with the albanuric blood. The illusions don't go away. Interesting. The illusions do not go away. Uh, we got some bears hanging out as well. Look at that bear. Just wondering if I can see anyone from here. That's the gate town. <gasps> she's right fucking there. Yeah, baby. She's right over there. Look at that. Holy fuck. Dude, we actually fucking found her too. So I was thinking, considering she went from here to here, I was like, this is why we'll check over here, because maybe she's pushing through. How did she make it over there without dying with all those people? I thought she might have gone over this way. Fuck yeah. She's just hanging out near Gate Town Bridge. Nice. I like that she actually stands out. Perfect time to explore for NPCs is at night time, apparently, because li she's literally standing out like a sore thumb. How are you alive? How have you not been murdered on your way here? Hello? Is someone there? It's me! Would you donate any Shabiri grapes in your possession to me? I'm on a pilgrimage in search of the distant light. And when I eat one of those grapes... I want her to just say the words, grant me eyes. <laughs> oh, many thanks to you. Now I can feel the distant light once more. That aside, I wonder what Shabiri grapes really are. Delectably tender and sweet, yet searing. What a sight they must be to behold. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Mmm. Hey, you're actually eating human eyes. Ignorance is... I ignorance is bliss. I ignorance is bliss. Oh, actually, it's needed to progress. I actually thought it was a choice. I wonder, what are Shabiri grapes? Delectably dead a sight they must... Wow, I actually thought it might have been a choice, and I was going to spare her the horror that she's been eating human eyes this whole time. <clears throat> no. That's not possible. Not all of those people. Their own... So those noises I heard were... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm alright now. Don't mind me. Oh, that's gonna be a thing to wrestle with. I don't think she's gonna be wanting those grapes anymore, dude. I apologize. You only did as I asked. I'll be fine. Think no more of it. Interesting. So something about voices? I apologize. I'll be fine. She'll be fine, apparently. I'm gonna... Understandable reaction. Understandable, uh, reaction. I apologize. I'll be fine. <laughs> I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Perfectly, perfectly reasonable. Um, I'm gonna rest here. I'm gonna see if she ends up moving on. I'm gonna see if she moves on. Because then we'll have to go to another spot and find her. Alright, she's still there, but we have passed the time, so let's see if she's got anything to say. She's had the she's had the night to reflect. Ah. Yes. Is that you over there? Cool. I've gleaned something very important indeed, thanks to you. The reason why it was eyes I had to eat. The distant light is far and frail. So faint it can't be seen by the naked eye. But with everyone's eyes together, it appears. Finally, it all makes sense. I'm certain now. I will be a finger maiden. Oh, I just realized that the finger maidens don't even... Fuck, 
fucking they don't even have eyes dude because they that's why they read fingers finger maidens don't have eyes they're literally just these hollow pits of nothing are you sure you want to become a finger maiden i mean they <laughs> they don't look too good i've gleaned something very certain now okay so she's certain she's gonna be a finger maiden Oh, it's added her to the map. Fuck yeah. Lightseeker Hyetta. Okay, that's her full name. Lightseeker Hyetta. She's been added to the map now. That's cool. So there are some NPCs that have been retroactively added that we've already found and other ones that haven't. Um, let's check in with... Let's check in with Blackguard. Let's check in with Blackguard. And then we'll come back and I'll see if there's a... Uh, an update with, um... Hyetta. Alright, mate. Want some more prawn, do you? Alright, mate. Alright. You're alright then, mate. With your infinite prawns. Nah, I'm good. I'm gonna just level up before I forget once again to, uh... Spend my runes. Um... I'm gonna put. I need some. I'll get some more stamina in my equip load. Do some endurance. Okay, let's just travel back to Gate Town Bridge. Let's see if she's still here. Why am I saying let's see if she's still here? I need to get used to the fact that I can just check the map now. And she has moved. But can I find her elsewhere on the map now? That's the true question! She has... Okay. She was marked on the map. Now I just have to look and see for a new NPC logo. What if we have to find her again and now that she's moved... That, that could be entirely possible. She could have just straight up... Where would you go to become a Finger Maiden? Like, if you wanted to become one, where would you go? She's no, there's no reason for her to be back here. Damn it, I got so excited. I'm like, yeah, she's been added to the map, so now I don't have to look for her again. Wrong. Okay. We know this. We're following a path. We went here, she ended up at the ruins, she now ended up at Gate Town Bridge. If she wishes to become a Finger Maiden, I don't know what the process is, but we could potentially head to this Finger Reader. Maybe she needs to seek a finger reader to become one. Um, I'm going to just do the next thing and we're just going to see if she's in Gate Town because that just moves on from that location. Oh, actually. Hmm. Actually, I think it's better to just start from Gate Town Bridge because she could be even closer to the vicinity. Maybe she died. <laughs> That's also a good thing to check. Just check if the NPC, NPC actually died. You know it would be nice if she left a note for me when I next wanted to come out and hang out with her. Alright, she's not here. Uh, the journey begins, dude. The journey begins. We, we celebrated finding her so quickly. <laughs> and now we have to do it again. Um... It's down that way. That is the telescope, and that is just looking at any potential light sources in the distance. So Hayata potentially has moved through Gate Town. These are enemies here. You know what's really fucking cool, like just really fucking cool about this game that I love so much is it's like the environments are just absolutely gorgeous. I am in love, absolutely in love with the fact that they have added a mount to this game. Riding through his torrent in like this swampland in, in Leonia where you can like roleplay as your character being like some lone samurai swordsman from a distant land, quite literally, in my lore. Um, running through like the swamps of Leonia at night with a fog-filled swamp with a torch, desperately seeking, uh, desperately searching 
for a light seeker, you know? Like, I don't know, it's just like, just the simple things about this game that are just so enjoyable. Even when it just comes down to traversal. Hey team. I'm gonna check out these little structures because she could be hanging out in one of these. Ooh, please no prawns. Okay, please no prawn. No prawn. Now, I don't know how the fuck Hyatta is making it through these areas blind, but she's uh, she she is to be commended. She is to be commended. You guys seen a, you guys seen a blind girl? She might be passing. Th she might be passing through here. Um, she's blind. She's asking for grapes. Recently discovered what they actually are, so she might be vomiting. Still, follow the vomit trail. I actually think what would be a really nice touch uh, or addition to this um, quest is instead of playing hide and seek. It would be nice if she did leave maybe a hint or a clue uh, wherever she was, you know, uh, when she, in the place that she was previously. Um, I think that would be nice. Or there's like a physical trail that you can like follow, you know, like you see there and you're like, oh wow, there's this. Follow the squishy grape trail and find Hyetta. Because she might not even be at Gate Town. She might go to Rayleigh Lucaria. I don't know. This is the problem. You don't fucking know where she is. <laughs> we got lucky last time. By looking out that thing. That's not her, is it? <gasps> oh! That's someone else! He just fucking Dialos. He left round table hold. Bruh! Run you. Oh, oh no! It's me, Dialos. Answer me, would you? Oh fuck, dude. Did we take too long? <laughs> I think we took too long. We've been here for a long time, dude. Shit. This is where he went. I think we took, guys. I think we took too long on the old uh, fi finding Lanya thing, and then he left the round table hold to do it himself. Hello, friend. Tell me if you know, would you? The whereabouts of the hidden house of those despicable fiends. The recusants who hunt their fellow tarnished. They laid hands upon my servant Lanya, and I refuse to let the insult stand. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood. House Hoslo. I, Dialos, swear to deliver the message. Um, hang on, where have I got this guy's name, Dialos? What did he say, House Hoswold? Hoshold? House, Ho House Hoggett, House Hoswald. Oh, that's cool. Um, I also have a th uh, a thing. Um, I think we might be able to tell him because this is the second time. This is the second time we've encountered a a blonde girl who's been massacred and a dude who's returned to her dead body seeking revenge. Edgar was doing that with Ir uh, Arena. And we encountered Edgar at the Revengers Shack last episode. Dialos is also seeking people that are killing Tarnished. They laid hands upon my servant Lanya, and I refuse to let the insult stand. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood. House Hoslo. I, Dialos, swear <laughs> to deliver the message. Not House Hoswald. House Hoslo. Uh... It won't let me tell him, though. Of the tale of High. Okay. Sorry for your loss, bud. I don't know if that was my fault, but it might have been. It, <laughs> it may perhaps have been my fault. Okay. That's unfortunate. Um, he's just repeating... He's just repeating dialogue, though, so I don't, I don't know. Um, damn, I didn't expect to find... Dialos here. I'm a, when you're searching for one NPC, you're going to find another. Knight Dialos is now marked on the map. 
Hmm. It's possible to have multiple NPCs in the in the same place. Well, now I've got another one going on at the same time. So he's asked us if we know the location. Maybe we can go. Let's go back to the. It's over this way, isn't it? It's close by too. To the Revenger's shack. Go pl close by to the Revenger's shack. Everyone's already, everyone here is already dead. I don't want to accidentally end up having Dialos fucking summoned as an invader too, and now we've got to kill him for some reason. Um, there's no one... Okay, there's no one here, so it might be something else. Oh, fuck, he's moved! God damn it, dude! Okay, so the NPCs move. The NPCs move. And then I... You have to find them again. To mark them on the map. So it's it's kind of like a loose... It's not a great system. For keeping track of your NPCs. It only keeps track of them... When you have found them. I'm getting like this really annoying vibration. And buzzing right now. That's being picked up by my microphone. I apologize. I'm trying to like fix it without having to... Trying to fix it without having to unplug it. I don't know if you guys can even notice it. When I lift it up, it's fine. Here, I'll give you an example. And there you go, might, might be able to hear it if I block the game. There's like this weird vibration. I'm gonna like fix it because I fucking hate this shit. <laughs> okay, I believe I have fixed my little problem. Apologies for that. I have this like, the microphone has a vibration sort of absorption thing where it, you know, is supposed to kind of absorb it and not pass through the microphone. It's not very good, so I just have to put some new stuff underneath it. Uh, sorry for that little hiccup. Back to the search for now Hayata and Dialos. Um, so I got distracted by hearing a buzzing in my ears. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go to the scenic aisle. I'm gonna go to the scenic aisle. Um, patches in the daytime, what's up? Nothing new? Oh yeah, I forgot you sell that thing. Um, hey! Don't be rude. Oh man. This is gonna be... Okay, well now we've got two people to look for. Um, so, Dialos is looking for... Something to... Oh, Dialos is looking for something to do with blood. Not looking for something to do with blood, but he's going to pay the the story of House Hoslow is written in blood. So I don't know if it has a relation to that. What if he's a what if he goes to Fort Height? I also wonder um I also wonder if he if Dialos standing here is part of the the update that added him, uh, that has, like, continued his, his quest line, apparently, because he was, he's one of the names listed in, sort of, the NPC fixes. So I wonder if I just missed him the whole time, or whether he, uh, he was there. Uh, sorry, maybe he wasn't there, but he got added in. But I, I have a feeling he was probably there the whole time, considering the whole thing with, um... Him leaving the round table hold, I'm assuming he would have had to have been found somewhere, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, Kenneth's little fort does have ties to blood. It does have ties to blood. I'm just gonna have a sus and see if 
with the story being written in blood, if it might tie into this place. I don't think so. I have a feeling there it might be centered around. Um, holy fuck! Is that a grace that I've never found? That is a side of lost grace that I've never found. There is a grace near Fort Height. I always thought it was fucking weird that there was never a grace point nearby. Oh my god. <laughs> it's been a long time. Fort Height West. Shit. <laughs> I was always like, man, it's weird that there's been no... Uh, no fucking... Grace Point for Fort Height. That's because it's right there. The existence of a Fort Height West Grace Point insinuates the existence of a Fort Height East Grace Point. Maybe. Who knows? It's just a game theory. Let's have a look. Well, if anything, coming back here at least gave us another Grace Point. There is always something to be gained in re exploring a previous area, even if it doesn't yield what you came for, there is still something. I'm gonna chat to Kenneth, see if Kenneth knows anything about something. Um, but I'm gonna say probably not. Let's have a look. Yeah, he's still pondering. He's still pondering his air. I must be a true. Okay. He is still pondering. I was like, look. I'll tr I don't know if him saying the story is written in blood has something to do with blood specifically or whether it's to do with obviously it's because there's been a murder and there's blood involved. I'm looking a little deeper than the obvious meaning behind it because from software is pretty fucking obscure sometimes. So it was a it was a just a test. It didn't work, however. So he's now moved on from Gate Town. Hyeta has moved on from uh, Gate Town Bridge. I tried to see... Oh, maybe... Maybe the Blackguard could be responsible. Maybe. Maybe the Blackguard might have uh, ducked out from cooking prawns to murder someone real quick. Um, I'll check I'll check that, and if these people can leave me alone, I can actually teleport out of here. I'm just going to ask NPCs around the area if there's any information about t tarnished killers. Who's killing tarnished around this place? You reckon? All right, mate. All right, mate. Because he's a, he's a tarnished himself, but maybe he might be eliminating the competition. Uh, the fallen ruins was a pretty empty place, I think, when we explored here. Maybe that's because there might be an NPC that comes and hangs out in this spot. Something that also is a curiosity that I don't know how this NPC marking system works is I don't know if you have to talk to the NPC or whether if you go past them it'll show up on the map. That's an, that's another thing, I don't know. This is going to be our sort of wild goose chase sort of thing. I might, for the sake of time at this point, now that I feel like I might be running around a bit, uh, is I am going to see uh, if I can find... Um, the NPCs we're looking for, so I'm gonna... Ow! I'm going to, for the sake of time, and your time, uh, I'll probably just cut to my discovery of them. I'm gonna just run around here aimlessly until I find them, finally. Um, obviously, they've got to be somewhere, so if I keep checking points and I look out in the distance for these humanoid characters, uh, we're, we're bound to find them poking their heads out. Um, around the place. Uh, fuck it, maybe even, maybe even the Rose Church holds our information. Um, it could be related to Vare, considering he was giving us a, uh, he gave us a bloody finger. He did give us a bloody finger. Could he be the one going around killing Tarnished? He's still here. Especially the fact that... You've been busy, have you, sir? You've been busy, have you? A 
Especially the fact that we fought an enemy in here that was very bloody. Hmm. This is our second blood-related thing, then. Be sure to try that finger I gave you. I'm quite certain that you'll take to it. Got a bit of blood on your hands there, mate. Surprised I've never even used this telescope on your face. What's under that mask of yours, pal? Hmm. Suspect? Suspect? Especially because it's the finger is related to murder. <laughs> Bloody murder. A failed finger is blackened with blood congestion. It seems to have been chopped off rather unceremoniously. Um, that could be... It could be it. The murder of... The murder of Tarnished through... Use of the finger. You're back. You're back again. Interesting. Oh, I forgot that you parry! Oh, am I still alive? I should have died, but I lived. How about that, Chief? That's so funny. I was so sure of my death then. Oh, I thought that he stopped doing the parry move. No! Okay, we're okay. I thought that he stopped for a moment, but he did not. How did I not get hit by the throwing knife just then? What the fuck? Stop doing that. Ow! No! <laughs> I had so many opportunities to win. This dickhead. Could this be... Oh, he's got no face. Could this be our killer of Tarnished, maybe? Vare does have blood on his hands. I don't know. I have... I got questions. I don't want to murder him. But I, I feel like he might be involved. So, Kenneth isn't isn't the one. But this guy... I don't know. Uh, I'm not fucking around that time, buddy. Ow! Oh, it's a blood loss pit. That's so interesting. Blood... a blood pit. Oh, he's not dropping any gear for me either, so annoying. Okay. Hmm. Considering we're in the same area, I'm a bit suspicious of this gentleman. Who knows? I'm gonna... I'm gonna keep running around, uh, and see if I can find anyone. Greetings. Greetings, giant turtle. I was wondering if maybe you'd seen a girl, Hayata? Uh, seeking absolution? I was wondering if maybe you'd seen Dialos? Kind of has a lot of bloodlust. Uh, you got anything for me, bud? I've been... I've been everywhere, man. Um, in at least this central region here, and I'm not finding, uh... anything, so I've explored sort of the, f the this floor plan. <laughs> <laughs> the floor plan of Leonia. So what I'm thinking now is she's gone up on sort of like she went here, then was here, then was here. So she's at Gate Town Bridge. Instead of going through here, she may have gone up this way. So she might be at the uh, the artist shack. You know, maybe she's down there. Maybe she went to the Carrion Study Hall. I don't know. Can do you? You can't study to become a finger maiden. Uh, she might. I tried a church up here. Um, I don't think you go to the mausoleum compound. That's a crystal tunnel. That's catacombs. This is a location that we haven't yet been to. I'm trying to still figure out how we get up there exactly. I think last time we ran through here, it just seems to be like walled off completely. Because uh, it leads to another structure up there. Um, I haven't checked up on this pathway yet because this goes somewhere. Um, the fuck, you could be at the the manor for Rena. Still trying. I think. I think I'm gonna go down here. Um, what's the best way to travel up here? We do it this way. I think the artist shack. Let's she. Let's see if she's moved up this way. Who knows if she like somehow she's blind? Maybe she stumbled and she fell off the cliff, and survived. <laughs> 
um, down at this this place that I don't know how to get to. So maybe I can check this out. Maybe the way across is to like do a weird like. Ah, oh, you know what? Maybe the way across. Oh no, I can't even get up there from here. I'm not gonna say like just sit on the edge and like walk around it and climb over there. Let's have a look at this again. Let's see if we can get down here. Maybe our poor Hayata, um, Hayata took a tumble and she she fell down <laughs> to this village. All right, how the fuck do we get down? Oh, I think we have a... Oh, actually, that's how you get down. We've got gravestones. How did I not see the gravestones when I was here last time? I must have... Oh, uh, look at... Look at... I think we looked at it, like, from an angle that we didn't do that. If you just turn the camera around a bit more, there's a whole pathway down. There's a whole pathway of stones. Oh, my God. All right. You reckon Arena... Not Arena, sorry. Hayata just went for a little, like, wall tombstone jumping. God. Oh, no. Okay, I'm dead. Jarberg. Fuck. All right. <laughs> I didn't even need to do the jump. I like panic jumped and then from then on it was it was lost. All hope was lost. Jarbug. Does that pop up on the map now? It does. It's a village. Jar Jarbug? Jarberg. I can't fucking read. Jar Jarberg. I did see some jars. Is it literally a jar village? You've gotta be shitting me. I hope that they're friendly. If they if it's just a village of hostile jars, then I'm I don't care. If it's a village of secluded, non-hostile, friendly jars, then I'll be very happy. If it ends up just being like a bunch of jars that attack me, I don't want it. Jarberg. See how good I am at, at reading text on a screen when it's right in front of my face. Hey. All right, let's do this again without falling to my death. Okay, give me those bad boys. Okay. And then drop onto the roof. Jarberg! There's jars here. Jars in Jarberg. First things first. Point of grace. Do jars need houses? I guess. Wouldn't their jar essentially be classified as a house? Don't you think? Also, I'd like to make this point again just to mention. Melina is like barely in this game, dude. She like chats to you at a couple of grace points. And gives you a horse. She offers me an accord. And there's no roads in this game, so I can't even drive it. And then she's just never here. Alright, well I can get rid of this icon, because there is a new icon in place. Village! Let's check out Jarberg. Hey, you guys seen a girl? She may have tumbled from a great height. I can't target them. Holy fuck, I can't target them. McQuella's Lily. Ooh, McQuella's Lily. Have we gotten one of those before? That's McQuella's Lily. Come on, brain. Look for the icon. You can find it. Alright, just do order of acquisition. It's easier that way. Oh, we've got... We found one before. Thought to be beloved by the Empyrean McQuella in his youth. Oh god, I thought that said talk. Oh my god, I can't target them, they're friendly. He's doing a little aeroplane, he's a little aeroplane jar. Is your friend dead or sleeping? No, it's moving. I really thought that we would have been able to talk just then, but it just said acquire materials. Alright guys, it's canon. Jars live in houses. In a village. Cracked pot. You guys don't mind if I take this, guys, do you? You don't find you won't find that like offensive to like your whole thing. If I just steal a pot from you. Eye of yellow. Have I gotten that one before too? 
seeing new crafting materials. Are these new? No, I've gotten this before as well. Just ones that I think I haven't read. A ritual pot as well. Oh my god, look at them! They're so cute, dude. Look at all their colourful... Look at all their colourful herbs that I'm stealing from them. <gasps> I just fucking... Dude, what if Alexander is here too? Before he does his little quick journey to the east. What if he's here to hang out for a bit? Say goodbye to his jar bros in Jarburg. That could be him over there. Guys, have you seen... A guy like you, Pot, large. He um, he talks though. He talks. Look at this one. He's like scared. That dude has a living jar shard. You're not an enemy, are you? You're just awake. Okay. Hello, are you Alexander? Just because you're a big pot? No, nope. you're just scavenging for stuff. What do pots eat? What do pots eat, anyway? Guess we'll never know. Maybe we'll have to ask Alexander when we next see him. What do you eat? Okay, many cracked pots. Alright, how do I get up on that one? Up here. <laughs> Shit. Alright, how do I... Maybe I should have been... Uh, maybe I should have had more foresight. How do I get up on these houses? Hold on. Oops. When you hear the sound of crackpots. <laughs> That's not good. Look at this guy. Just, he's dangling his little... <gasps> Talk! He's just dangling his little feet off the side. Hello, Cos. What are you doing here? I didn't think anyone knew about this place. Except us jars. Ah... Are you going to be the new potentate? What? That is not the voice that I expected. Uh, what is a potentate? Can we ask what is a potentate before we literally promise promise them that we'll be one? I'll be your potentate. Gosh. Truly. That's wonderful news. It's not easy being potentate though. I know. Show me your hands. It's just a little test, cuz. To see if you've got the right stuff. Hmm. Your skin isn't so smooth, is it? You need slick, slidey hands to be potentate, you know? I'm sorry, cuz. But I don't think you've got what it takes. What a shame. I'm just right. So potentate... I need uh, silky smooth hands. Smooth, silky! To be potentate. Uh, smooth, silky hands, baby. Um, are there any gloves in this game? Maybe I just need... Why do I need... Why do I need to be soft? Uh, I've got <laughs> militia gauntlets. They'll be fine. What if I just take my gloves off? Don't look so glum, cuz. We can still chat, potentate or not. Potentate. Come back and visit me, when you can. Jarberg. Pot NPC. Don't look so glum. We can still chat. Come back and visit me. Potentate. When you can. Smooth, silky hands required. Okay. Uh, he doesn't ask to see my hands again. Maybe it's not a gear thing. And it's related to, like, an experience thing? I don't know. Uh, what if I rub grease on my hands, dude? <laughs> what if what if I make my hands all greasy? <laughs> Will that work? Interesting. Look at him dangling his feet. Alright, I don't know what potentate means. I don't know what potentate means. It means something. Something that you need to be smooth and silky for. Anyway, uh, I was coming up here to jump on this house, but I ended up finding a pot friend. The more you know. God, can we talk to all of them or just want that one? There was, hang on, there was another one in here. Maybe I didn't notice. Can I talk to this guy? Hey pot, are you a friend? Can't talk. Okay. 
Is it confirmed? Do you reckon that means that all of them can talk? They just choose not to? Or it's only that guy and Alexander that can talk? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so there's just a bunch of pots to get here, which is actually... Oh, hang on. Jarberg... Jar... Jarban? Hang on, what's that? Oh, that's how... Oh, that's how NPC... There's a little NPC icon. That's our NPC. His name is Jar... Jarban. Jarban. How the fuck do you... Okay. The icon of the place changed. The icon of the place changed. That's weird. I'm confused. Okay. We got an NPC that wants us to be a potentate. I don't quite get it. That's okay. <laughs> I don't quite get it, but that's fine. Are they, do you guys consider these pots to be your friend? Because I I needed to get a golden rune. Just a singular one. Alright, let's go down this way before we leave. Um, oh. Uh, so I guess the history of that village is it used to be uh, filled with humans and they're all they got buried in these tombs uh, and they were murdered by all of the pots and then they moved in and then they claimed the village for themselves. Uh, that's that's canon guys. That's actual lore. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe for more uh, Apocalypse lore series, um, especially when it comes to talking about jar people. Um, and mass murdering a whole village and then moving in. Totally happened, guys. What's over there? Ooh. Holy shit, dude. Wait a fucking minute. Ah. Oh. oh, fuck. I think there, right ahead there, where is that? Oh, that's that. Okay. And then that there, I think must be that all the way at the end. So cool that you can see it. it looks so cool from a distance. Alright, just more, just more land to feast your eyes on. I don't think there's a way out of here except to fast travel, so we'll just leave. Uh, the town of Jarburg with Jar Jarban. I'm just going to call him Jar Jar uh, for simplicity's sake. Uh, no Hyetta there. Uh, imagine if she stumbled. Ah, oh, um, that's the merchant. Don't get freaked out. <laughs> imagine if she stumbled into the in fucking like Ainsel River. Um, maybe I should try and go up here. Like maybe I should try and get in this location. Might be there. Let's head back to the mausoleum compound and see if we can find that path upwards. This is this is classic, classic Elden Ring distraction, dude. You end up finding a couple of NPCs and you're like, fuck, now I gotta continue and figure out what's going on with them. When I was like, hey guys, we're gonna do this this episode. I told you, I still haven't learnt my lesson. I'm, I should be banned from telling you what my intentions are each episode because they change depending on which way the episode goes. <laughs> We, like, encounter something, and I'm like, alright, guys, I changed my mind. <laughs> I'm not doing that, because I found this other thing that I gotta do instead. The good thing is, is that all in good time, you know what I mean? This playthrough is just gonna be all in good time. Because while I might have something on my uh, list for a destination, but I haven't gotten there right now, doesn't mean I won't ever get there. I just will, soon. Once I figure out a way up here. Oh, that's you guys making those noises. You're stomping. Uh, this is the Erd tree. You guys got a way up over here? Because I swear I've already kind of done this, but maybe I missed something.
Because that just goes down and then that goes to the Black Knife Catacombs. I'm trying to observe the map because there's a road there that it looks like it could potentially be there and the road picks back up again. But then it also looks like, oh, you know what? We did this last time. I think I can do it from here. If we go here, up around here, then on this road, that should take us up. Actually, I think we need to go here instead. The East Ray Lucaria Gate. We'll do it this way and then we can get up to this top and then maybe we'll... Uh, We'll be going through some new spots, so prepare, <laughs> prepare for more distractions. Hey, finger lady, you seen a, a girl wanting to become one of you? You, you. No. No hands, please. And yes, that's a joke, guys. Nobody ever gets the joke when I always, whenever I go, hey, have you seen someone and they're blind? Nobody ever gets that that joke. <laughs> Everyone always points out, Mepo, why are you saying that? They're blind. I'm like, yes, I know. That is the joke that I am making. Oh, that's so cool that it's just a random enemy that's just scouting the horizon. That's awesome. That's so sick. Yes, finger maidens have no eyes. So I'm like, have you seen this woman? Of course. She hasn't. Just what if this guy is an NPC? Okay, he's not an NPC. An NPC under the skies of an enemy. He ain't. He ain't. Okay. Oh, fuck. Well, the fact that we never found uh, Dalos or Hyeta on the ground area of Leonia is so fucking interesting, huh? Wait a minute. The plot thickens even further. So we've got fucking... This is Renner's Manor. We've got something else up there. Something else entirely up there. And then we've got what I think might be the Volcano Manor up there. Fuck, man. There's just... There's so much. I love it. Where are we on the map right now? Okay. We got some ruins coming up. Who can I kill? Yeah. Oh, it's another fucking church. Bellum Church. Sick. Okay, so we've seen this guy before. This isn't Marika. We still need to find those other Marika ones, but we got another sacred tier, dude. Excuse me, I've been looking for you. <laughs> Why are you just fucking... Okay, fuck me, dude. You know how long I've been searching for you, lady? Another church with no melanin dialogue. Sacred tear, nice. Got another one. Okay, so I was right to pick a church, though. I was right to search churches. We just picked the wrong one. So she's managed to go on a lengthy journey right now, dude. Finding out that... Uh, finding out she's been eating eyes really did a number on her journey, huh? So she's we're at Bellum Church, because this is the Bellum Highway, I think. Okay. Well, we were close. We were going to go here first. We were going to go here. We were actually close by. That's not bad. That's not a bad, uh, circumstance. Oh, hello. Is that you over there? She recognizes us I've now. I've never heard of fingerprint grapes. Oh, what? They're special grapes which only grow on those who've been clasped by the burnt fingers. Huh? I would truly love to try one. The distant light seems far closer than before. But I can't sense a thing from the usual grapes anymore. Please, could you donate a fingerprint grape to me? Without one, I don't know. I feel like I might go mad. Fingerprint grape? Now you need something else? What? Yeah, special grapes which only grow on those who've been clasped by the burnt fingers. Please. Without one I Clasped by the burnt fingers. Fingerprint grape. Burnt fingers. Uh 
shit. Alright, you're on the map at least. You're on the map at least. Um... Hmm... Is she talking about the fire... Is she talking about the fire monks? Which are... Where are they? Around this area, I think? Yeah, the fire monks are the only things I can think of with burnt fingers. Maybe they drop grapes? God damn it, Hayata. Why are you like this? Okay. Alright, we're stuck until we find fingerprint grapes. Well... That's that's one NPC found, finally. Now I just need to find uh, Dialos again. I don't know how she's making it through this place without getting massacred. But she's doing a great job. Oh, what the fuck? Who's shooting? Oh! God! Alright, there it is. Ah! Trebuchies! We're getting... <laughs> Trebuchies! Let's fucking go! What the fuck? That's so sick. Where are they? They're up... Fucking... Okay. Wow. Well, we... Um... Shit, I'm expecting to go up this way, right? To try and get to that church. This would be our grand lift. This is our grand lift that would go all the way up there. Oh, hell. I see. <laughs> I'm gonna sideswipe this because uh, we're not... I'm not meant to be... Well, it's not that I'm meant to be. Scratch that. I'm just not... Um, ready to go through here yet. That's the fucking tree sentinel, dude. Um. Ah! I was like, what the fuck is that noise? <laughs> oh, they, these, uh, they've got that glow in their eyes. Yeah, the fucking, they're frenzied. Get them out of here. They've got that glow in their eye. I was like, what is, what's squeaking at me? Oh yes, rats. Now I'm, I'm not prepared to go down through this area yet for the, for the grand lift. So at the moment I'm trying to see if we can go up to this area. I feel like that's looking likely. It's looking, it's looking good. This is why I love studying the map. And then we can go down. What is that? Wait, what the fuck? Why am I getting- what the fuck? What's happening? What the fuck? Fucking Nightmare of Mensis? What the fuck is going on right now? Why am I just randomly- it's just like my eyes. What the fuck happened there? Okay, what? Oh, the fucking literal, like, eye of Sauron in my fucking eyes. What the fuck? Okay, literal nightmare of Mensis. What the hell? What the fuck, dude? Okay. Where the fuck is that? Alright, there's like a tower here, dude. George R.R. Martin went, alright guys, I'm going to make a Lord of the Rings reference here. Don't tell anyone, I'm going to put Sauron in the game. Oh, there's a merchant right here. Alright, hold on. I'm going to quickly go to this merchant, and then I'm going to go get my runes back. Have I got anything that's got resistance to frenzy? Uh, like... What's the thing for Frenzy? What's the resistance for that? Is it immunity? Is it focus? Robustness? Fuck, man. I don't even know. Because what's our thing? Status. Immunity, robustness, focus. I think it might... Am I... Th is it focus? 
it may be focus. Have we got it? So maybe. Hmm. Oh, have we got items as well that can. Blood loss, Scarlet Rock build up, Poison build up, Magical damage, Fire damage, Immunity, Robustness, and Focus. Okay, we can do a Dappled Cured Meat. Ooh, is this going to be the time where I actually do item crafting, man? Oh, this has been so neglected for me. It would be so good to actually craft some arrows and do something with that, don't you think? Um, I can't... Hmm, that's robustness. I need more cookbook stuff to be able to make those other things. Okay. Let's see what you've got for me, bud. What do you need? What do you need? Don't want any trouble. Oh. Ha! <laughs> uh. Bruh! He's literally a merchant for that tower. An antiqui uh, antiquated charm that glares back at an enemy, it boosts focus. It's literally a shield for it, depicting a sinister rift. It's the Eye of Sauron shield. What the fuck? It actually boosts focus. And then we have the white cured meat, which also boosts focus. And a cookbook. I was wondering if the cookbook would allow us to make the cured meat, but it's just bone arrows. And he was also selling Runox. The composite bow. Alright, well, let me sell you some runes. He literally sells... That's so good. He's literally selling shit. Alright, I'm gonna buy that. And I'm gonna buy... Hang on, fuck. I'm gonna buy your boost, focus boosting activities, please. I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need what you got. Oh, actually, I need the cookbook as well, don't I? I keep changing my mind on what I actually want to buy from this gentleman every time. Alright, give me that. Alright, I'm good now. Thank you. Well, be on. I don't want trouble. I wonder what happens if we end up killing one. Uh, Kale would not be too happy with us. Okay, so this boosts our focus, apparently. I'm assuming we have to be blocking with it. Uh, and then if we also enjoy this, we can boost our focus. This is assuming that focus is the one that prevents the, f the frenzy. Because I've totally forgotten. And it just is the one that seemingly makes the most sense, so we will see. Um, <laughs> fucking... It better be. It looks like that merchant is directly related to boosting your focus as you enter a fortress that is literal nightmare fuel. How the fuck am I going to read this lore while I'm getting wrecked by trebuchets. The First Leonian War, Radigan's glory burns red as his hair. Oh my god, the swords allow us to read the lore because they block the, the bombardment. That's so funny. Okay. Actual full battlefield, dude. Another rune arc. Thank you. Another one, thank you. I'm gonna run back up this way so we can get killed again by the by fucking Sauron. I can't believe that shit. <laughs> Let's do it. So we've got our entrance to the Grand Lift, which will take us up there. So we see the volcano manor all the way up there. We got our trebuchets. This game is a real ride. Oh yeah, the Frenzy Rats, right? Because they've all gone mad. Uh, okay. I can't block on horseback. Which makes this a bit of a fucking thing. Well, I think I can... I might be able to block, but I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna get killed by a fucking Frenzied Rat, dude. Dropped something, let me have it. 
It drops rune arcs? Oh, of course they do. They're rats. Rats always drop the most important fucking shit in this game. Uh, it's a soul staple. They drop humanity as rats, and they drop fucking rune arcs, because of course they do. Okay. Whoa. The, what it does to my eyes is crazy. Holy shit. Look at that. Whoa! What the fuck? Oh god. Oh, I didn't die. I didn't die that time. I thought it, I thought the bar wasn't working. I was literally not even looking at the bar anymore. I thought it was fine. It stopped moving for a second, so I was like, oh, it's fine. Okay, so... Now I need to see if the shield works. Oh god, I don't actually know. I don't know. I don't know. Ah! Fuck me. Yeah, this is literally... a certified Bloodborne moment. Can we hide behind stuff to not get frenzied? Okay, as long as you're not looking at it, it's fine. Alright, I'm gonna boost my... focus. I think it's focus. It is. It's fucking focus related. But that also means I'm more like... Oh, yeah, right. Also gives you more uh, ability to not get put to sleep. Alright, just don't look at the... Th just don't look at the tower. You're fine. The tower doesn't exist. The tower doesn't exist. The tower doesn't exist. The tower doesn't exist. I can't even see the tower. I can't even see it. Look at me. See, the tower isn't real. It can't hurt me. I can't cure my frenzy. I only have something that boosts my resistance. I need something that can cure it. I need I need to craft some balls. Build up a sleep, frost, blood loss, rot, and poison. It's like the only one that I don't have is the one that could fix this shit for me right now. It's like timed, I think. But do you reckon it's you reckon I could do this without fucking... I don't even know if the shield will help against this tower, specifically. It might only work against, like, attacks. But I'm blocking with it anyway, dude. Ah! <laughs> I made it underneath! I made it. I made it. Oh shit, what if every tower... What if this tower also starts fucking yelling at me? Just don't look. Right, I'm gonna deal with this shit immediately. Let's see what this fucking thing is all about. Quickly! Whoa, look at that. Oh no, fuck! Just don't look at it. Just don't look at it, dude. Just don't look at it. It's not real. Frenzy Flaming Tower. Ah, oh, no! Fuck's sake, bro. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know if the shield I don't know if the shield does anything so I may as well just try and sprint through on torrent and ingest one of these um, ingest my resistance to, to frenzy uh, the icon up the top there looks like I still have the effect of it it's got like the cured meat symbol but I'm not glowing anymore so, I don't think I have it anymore. I think because I died, the effect wouldn't still be there, would it? I need to get past this frenzy tower and kill whatever is doing this shit. <laughs> New objective. Survive. Oh, wow. I didn't even see this. Look at this. There's ruins, like, structures built into the side of the cliff there. I didn't even see that. It's quite well, uh, hidden when you're looking at the big glowing ruins. You see, you don't see the darker ones. Oh, that'll be the fucking shit that, um... Right, that'll be the ruins in the cliff, I think. That, um, Raya was talking about. 
that will be the ruins in the cliff, maybe. See, I had I had totally misunderstood her the first time, and thought it would have been related to um, something in the completely opposite direction. All right, let's boost our focus again. Let's fucking go. That's a dead end. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Just don't look at the fucking. It can't hurt you when you don't acknowledge it. Ah, it's not real. Tower of Frenzy is not real. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, that was so much better than just slowly going through with this shield, dude. Just run through with Torrent. It's fine. Don't look. Get your runes back. Let's fucking do it, bro. Okay. Oh man, it doesn't help that this I'm getting attacked by enemies that cause frenzy, and there's a tower that causes frenzy. It's not safe to even stand near the fucking tower, dude. Ah. Okay. Go! Let's fucking go! <laughs> Climb the Frenzy Flaming Tower. I think we're not taking any Frenzy right now. Let's go! Yeah! That's right, bitch! Kill whoever's at the top of this hellhole. You fuckers! Look at you go! Stop doing this! Get the fuck it! Get that! Get down! Stop doing this shit! Is this you? Stop it! No more Frenzy, you fucks. Are we done? No more! None of this bullshit. I got a weathered straight sword. Alright, it's over. We did it. Fuck that. Alright, weathered straight sword. Um, let's have a look. Oh, it's just a normal fucking weapon, bro. You guys suck. Alright, we got a chest. Ooh! The Howl of Shabriri. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Howl of Shabriri. Shrieks, building up madness nearby foes. Incantation originating from the Maddening Three Fingers. Releases a maddening shriek that causes madness build up in foes nearby. This incantation also causes madness build up in the caster and makes enemies more likely to target them. It is said that the sickness of the Flame of Frenzy began with Shabriri, the most reveled, the most reviled man in all history. Fuck, well, if this is tied to the... Oh, man... Is uh, Hyatt's questline gonna just end up with her getting fucking wrecked by madness? Because she's eating these shaburi grapes. Oh, the light in her eyes, dude, is the effect of madness. Holy shit. How did I not even connect that until right now? The light that, uh, that Hyatta can feel is the fucking... her eyes burning from madness and that's why she can hear the voices, dude. That's why she could hear voices and all of that shit. God damn it. That's clever. And that Shabriri... the Shabriri grapes give the defect of madness, bro. My god. My god. I cannot believe this. <laughs> That's insane. So now she's asking for a fingerprint grape instead, because she's like, I don't want to eat the madness juice anymore. But if you give me a fingerprint grape, does that mean she's going to end up... She wants to become a finger maiden. Is she going to end up becoming one of the two fingers or the three fingers? I think that's an important correlation to make. Is like, who's she going to even become, dude? Uh, we got a spot here. We've also got all of this stuff up here. I hope those, uh, I hope those enemies do not come back to life at that Frenzy Flaming Tower, or I just really need to find a grace point. <gasps> I just need to find a grace point so I never have to make that run up again. Yo. Thingy. Let me examine you. Bruh. Ah, oh, it's because I've already found the Black Knife Catacombs. It's pointing to the Black Knife Catacombs. Makes sense. I've already found it. I guess that probably confirms my previous theory about the whole, um... You can chop tumbleweeds! 
my previous theory about the tumbleweeds, that my previous theory about those glowing things in woods when you examine them and a, and a spirit takes you to a place. But we've only had that once every other time we've found them. It's been no luck. All right, is that tower back now that I've rested here? Fucking better not be. We still got, yeah, okay, they're dead, cool. There's no more people at the top of that tower. Thank fuck. Um. Damn, we got a we got a nicely sized area for for us to explore up here. So, something up here. And we got another churchy looking place over here. Rani's uh, manor is screaming at me in the background. She's like, "You said you would come and visit me this episode," and I'm like, "Too bad." <laughs> I got distracted by something else. There's another quest line to do. Well, we've already done Black Knife Catacombs. So that's cool. We can sneak on past there. That's cool. We're going to ignore the troll. Oh, he's got the fucking head and a sword. Maybe we will fight him. Let's fucking go. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, it only fires when he's facing you. That's that's cool. I was wondering if it was gonna attack from behind. Oh my god, the camera right now. I love how susceptible they are to bleeding and also staggering. It's my favorite. Yeah, boom! How they fit their big ass heads in that in that helmet doesn't even give me anything cool. Doesn't even give me anything cool, dude. All right, where are we? We got another tower, I think. Converted fringe tower. Okay, hang on. We've seen this is our second one. Converted tower. Converted fringe tower. May erudition light the way. Oh no, I've, I already I googled this before, didn't I? Hang on, may erudition light the way. What is the what did the message the message in the other converted tower said something about erudition, didn't it? Or so, another word. Erudition. No, erudition's in my recent searches. The quality of having showing great knowledge or learning, scholarship. How many people do you think have googled erudition? <laughs> with this game. Uh, okay, showing great learning. So it probably has something to do with the fact I have to... Okay. You fuck. May erudition light the way? Torch. Torch! Torch! It's a, it's a source of light! Do it! <laughs> we do... We can get that... We can get that sorcery that is in relation to... Um, Lighting, you can light uh, up places. Light the candles with the torch. Imagine if this game allowed you to do that. You can actually like light candles and stuff with torches. That'd be so cool. Hey, yeah. All right. Well, let's do what we did in the last converted tower. Uh, try and find a way to climb up to the top. What is that down there? Flower. Ooh, I'm, I'm on the other side. I'm on the other side. Oh, I'm on the other side. No! <laughs> okay, I can see in. Ah, oh, it just gives me frenzy resistance. All right, so when I equip the shield, it does that. That makes sense. Not frenzy resistance, but it boosts it. Right, get that off. I don't need that. Sh I don't need that shit anymore. I honestly didn't even need to buy any of that stuff. I, I could have just made it through by just avoiding eyesight with torrent. Just running through. There's got to be a way in through the back, bro. Over this side. There's got to be a, a way to sneak in through a window like a dumb dumb like me that doesn't know magic. Solve the puzzle to enter. The puzzle is walking around the edges until I get in.
Damn it. It's not gonna be, is it? Let me in, bro. Let me in! Ready? Yeah! Oh, this is just where I was before. <laughs> Fuck. Um. Damn it. Puzzle solving. Why you gotta do me like this game? Alright, we're gonna use Torrent to climb instead. It's perfect. Look at it. It's working. It's working! It's working! This is exactly the intended method! Alright, why are you gonna bar all the windows, dude? Where's the way in? Okay, perfect. Now we're up a bit higher. Are we up a bit? Yeah. Damn it. Can't see in this place. There's a bridge. Not a bridge. What am I? A balcony. There's a bridge. Alright, guys. I gotta get the trebuchets and then come back <laughs> and knock the. Oh! Wait. Oh. No, that's just where we started. Damn it. What the fuck? What the fuck? Come on. You can do this. Okay. Well, that didn't work. So, that's not it. I guess the puzzle really is on the inside. I do not have erudition. But I do have horse on top of statue. And jumping through the hole in the roof. Okay. Illusory wall attacks. Illusory bookcase. Illusory bookcase. Illusory bookcase. Illusory bookcase. Illusory bookcase. Illusory door. Okay, solve the puzzle to enter. Disrespect surroundings to enter. Why you gotta do this to me, statue? May erudition light the way. Alright, I don't think we're solving this one. It also doesn't have a second level, so we can't... Fuck. Damn it. No, I'm gonna have to come back to this one. <laughs> I'm gonna have to... We'll come back here. Leave a little gem. I'll come... I gotta come back to this spot, dude. I'm not clever enough right now. I don't... May... Erudition has not lit in my way. I'm not litty enough to... To go through there yet. I don't have my big brain activated, so you're going to have to bear with me. And we'll go and pick and choose another direction instead. Let's go over this way. Um, we got some ruins, and we got this little structure over there. So we'll go and do that. Solve the puzzle. My sort of problem with puzzles is I kind of... I'll either solve it immediately, or I'll never solve it. It'll just take me the longest... The longest time, dude. Like, it's... Sometimes it just will not click. Even if it's, like, painfully obvious. It's kind of my unfortunate issue with puzzles. Oh, yeah, okay. That's the Erd Tree shit. That's the mausoleum. All right. Cool. There's our beautiful shining Erd Tree. Praise the Erd Tree. Oh yes, hello. Oh, which means I've just thought of something else. I've just thought of something else. So, um, where is it? Because I just wrote it down. Did I write it down? Where's Hyetta's note? Uh, fingerprint grape, burnt fingers. The ones who have had their fingers burnt. I was like, could it be the fire monks? But, uh, the madness is from these guys. Because of how they're holding their their heads. They'd be burning their thing they'd be burning their fingers with madness. I think our fingerprint grape 
Uh, I think the fingerprint grape that we want is tied to this. Considering it's also had that mention of Shabriri. Let's have a look and see if we can find a fingerprint grape in a place like this. Frenzied cookbook. Can we just fucking craft one, dude? What if we craft a grape? No. Oh, we can now craft the boluses that resist. <laughs> I was like, I need one of these. All right, so it's in relation to the Frenzied cookbook. Ask and you shall receive, dude. Uh, a record of crafting techniques left by those afflicted by the madness of the flame of frenzy contains techniques discovered in desperation. So we can now make... Um, let's have a look. There we go. We can now actually make the ones that alleviate madness build up. And we actually have... Um, I'll make two. We actually have the materials necessary. That's fucking funny. Ask and you shall receive, dude. It's an actual thing. Ooh, madness knights. Let's fucking go, bro. You got any, uh, you got any grapes? You got any grapes? Bum. ba da no 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 Shabriri's Woe. Okay. Talisman. Got any grapes? Got any grapes? Shabriri's Woe. Constantly attracts enemies' aggression. Oh, perfect. Disturbing likeness of a man whose eyes have been gouged out. The corners of his mouth are upturned in an almost flirtatious manner. Constantly attracts enemies' aggression. It is said that the man named Shabriri had his eyes gouged out as punishment for the crime of slander, and with time, the blight of the flame of frenzy came to dwell in the empty sockets. Holy shit, man. That's something. That's something. I would rather not constantly attract the uh, aggression of enemies. It feels like that would be like a good co-op talisman to have if you were like joining in with a friend and like helping them. You'd also, you'd be able to have like aggro all the time. The, we got a note. The Lord of Frenzied Flame. Beneath Landell, at the very bottom, lies our Lord. Lord of the Frenzied, the three fingers who hold us in thrall. Beneath Landell, at the very bottom, lies our Lord. Lord of the Frenzied. Is that where Shabriri? Is it Shabriri? Or is it someone related to Shabriri? You never know in this game, like, uh, and even in the Soul series, it's like, they're always like, this person died, or this person's dead, and you're like, and then you end up finding them, and they're alive, and you fight them. <laughs> they're like, jokes, I'm actually alive! I don't think I was supposed to get up here, but fuck it, we doing, we horsing, we jumping on rooftops now, boys. We rooftop hopping. We gives us a better view. Um, is there, there we, go. we got some towers. No! Right, we got some towers to check out. So that's a, that's a good note. We got an information thing that at the bottom of, uh, underneath Landell, which by the way, also mentions, also mentions, uh, the three fingers. So I think, uh, I think our poor Hyetta is on the wrong fingers track. She, need, she needs two instead of three. <laughs> she's, going, she's going for that, that shocker technique, unfortunately. Only down the dark side does that path lead, Hyetta. That's our frenzied tower. Okay, so 
Fucking hell, no fingerprint grapes then. No luck with them fingerprint grapes then. Oh, this is like a this is a different one. Hold on. What is it? What is this one? Ah, it's a frenzied it's a frenzied one. I was I almost let it run away cuz I thought it was just a fucking red one. It gave us a frenzied Oh no, and frenzy flowers too. Of course. Frenzy flowers as well. Which what was it? The frame of flimsy, right? Frame of flimsy? The the frenzy of the <laughs> flimsy of frame? Um, originating from the maddening three fingers causes the yellow flame of frenzy to burst forth from the caster's eyes. Oh, we just had that used against us by those enemies in the village. The flame of frenzy deals damage and causes buildup of madness. Okay, so something in relation to the three fingers is at the bottom of Lane Dell. I can only surmise that that is where uh, our our sweet dear Hyetta is going to try and end up there on her fucking journey through madness. So we'll have to we'll have to keep a note of that when we eventually get to Lanedale ourselves. We'll have to see how that goes. Um, where was I? There's so many fucking flowers here. All their frenzy build up. Nice height. Where am I? Where was I trying to run to again? Up here. I'm trying to go up here. There we go. God, every time I see a glowing skull, I'm like, I must get it. Even though it's literally every single time just a one golden rune. I mean, they do add up. They do add up. But I just, sometimes I can't help myself. I like put myself in harm's way to run over a fucking skull. Ah, Lord Vike. It seems that you were no lord after all. Then where is he? Our true lord, our lord of frenzied flame. We beg of you, incinerate all that divides and distinguishes. Ah, may chaos take the world. Okay. That sounds like a, a, what, something a, someone of perfect crystal clear sanity would say, don't you think? We're about to get invaded. Because it took me off my horse. Right? Is that how that works? Yes. Festering fingerprint Vike. Every time we've gotten kicked off a horse, we've gotten invaded. <laughs> Here's our Lord Vike. Oh, with the madness from his eyes! Oh, fuck! Okay. Shit. He's a bloodhound. But like a smaller one. Fuck you, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, it's linger. It's a lingering flame, too. Hey! Don't do that. Whoa! Special beam cannon, dude. Holy shit. Ah, get dropped upon, you fucking... Don't even try it. You underestimate... Oh, shit! That fingerprint grape. <laughs> you underestimate my power. Don't try it. Yeah, I have the high ground. Vike's war spear and the fingerprint grape. I should have assumed we would have gotten the fingerprint grape, considering his name was Fingerprint. I was a bit too shocked at the whole, you know, fucking special beam cannon shit coming out of his eyes. That's fucking cool. Um, use my brain. What did we just get? We got a spear and I got a grape. Alright, the grape should be in here. It'll be a key item, right? Grape. Grape! Eyeball of the Night Vike in flamed yellow. But it's a fingerprint, but it's still an eyeball? Fuck me. Oh, it's an eyeball with a fingerprint in it. Like a burnt fingerprint in the eye. Oh, that would work because like, you'd be going mad and your fingers, like, your burnt fingers, like... Shh. Eyeball of the Night Vike in flamed yellow, seared with a repulsive fingerprint burn akin to those marred his entire body. It, if offered to the blind maiden, it will lead her to the source of the distant light, allowing her to become a finger maiden. So... We are willingly doing a quest line that is leading her in further and further into madness. She will end up 
uh, according to this note, I assume, she's going to end up uh, beneath Leandell, at the very bottom. Lord of the Frenzy, the three fingers who hold us in thrall. She's going to become a finger maiden for the three fingers. We're just watching a tragedy in slow motion, and we are also directly responsible. Church of Inhibition. Nice, we found a new church unlocked with a Marika statue. And a sacred tear brew. Finger Maiden Filet. Oh, the full... Oh, shit. The full outfit of uh, Finger Maiden. Oh, have I completely misunderstood the whole... So these are Finger Maidens. Oh, man. I need to rethink my whole reality of this game. I'm trying to piece together all this shit, and I'm, I can't even understand the concept between Finger Maiden and Finger Reader. So these are the Finger Maidens. They, they're fine. There's some pretty ladies, but the finger readers cursed with no eyes. These ones look nicer than... Hell, man, maybe the three fingers ain't so bad after all. What's going on with the two fingers? The two fingers are the ones that are all like, I'm a literal two fingers, and I'm like a burnt corpse hand. But apparently I'm leading you on this journey to repair the Elden Ring. Meanwhile, these fine ladies... To be fair, this one's dead. Um, he's like, what's up? Let's read the lore on this outfit, dude. Filet worn by maidens who serve the two fingers. Oh, now I'm just really confused. Wait. Wait a minute. <laughs> no, they do serve the two fingers. What the fuck do the ones who serve the three fingers look like? The Maidens live to serve a chosen tarnished, sharing their guidance and the wisdom of the Two Fingers. The guidance of Grace would ensure that the pair be brought together, or at least such was the promise long ago. Well, now I'm confused, man. Who are the... who are the... Who the fuck are the... Um... Who the fuck are the three fingers then? I need something to remind me of th what three fingers are, man. <laughs> I need something to remind me about three fingers now. Because I... I'm so confused. I'm so confused, bro! <laughs> we'll just rock up to... Um, This outfit, dude. Still no Melina. Uh, Church of Inhibition. We'll rock up to um, Hyetta and be like, we got your grape, and I also got you an outfit if you want it. We got you a finger maiden outfit. Oh, shit. So, does that mean... That... Oh, dude. So, if we go back all the way over here... To this place, the Chapel of Anticipation, where we started the game, there is a dead finger maiden there, which is where we got given our like one of our first items in the game, which was the wizened finger. Shit, man. These fingers, man. These fingies. We've got four fingers. Where's our thumbs? Instead, we've got a tongue. I don't know, man. I think Miyazaki and um, George were just, um, they were just horny when they were writing the lore of this game. They got confused with their obsession with fingering maidens, and then they just ended up make, putting them in the game. They were just like, fingering maidens. Yes. Oh, shit. That's the real reason behind the two fingers, dude. Oh my god. I'm trying to get up here. I know I know it's possible, dude. I, I've tried to do this at every ruins. We must break the barrier of where we're allowed with torrent. No! Alright, whatever. I give up. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to... Everything's actually so close together. So, 
we were we were trying to get up here first, and that is literally where we got our that's literally where we got our fingerprint grape. What I like about Hyatt's questline in this case is that it seems quite straightforward in that sense that it's just like we're kind of moving our way through Leonia, and you can just kind of you're finding the stuff that you need, which is good. Um, was this here before? What the fuck? Golden centipede. Were those here before? What are those? Hang on a minute. Golden centipede. What the fuck? The golden desiccated remains of a centipede, kept as a fetish by golden order fundamentalists, especially the hunters of those who live in death. As such, they're found near churches. Oh. What the fuck? Didn't even notice them. There are special grapes, please. Without one, I don't... I feel like I might go mad. It's like, Hyanna, I'm sorry to tell you this, but I feel like you're going to go mad. So, are the three fingers... Um, I can't wait to wrap my head around this lore after like a million playthroughs and 5,000 hours, but... The two fing the finger readers, the finger maidens, there's the two fingers and the three fingers. Fingers everywhere, dude. This is another eyeball, by the way. Fingerprint grape. Tried and true. What a wondrous thing. A fingerprint grape. <laughs> oh, how sweet. Yet, how it burns. <laughs> Thank you. I've composed myself again. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. Blessings of Julianos upon you. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I'm sure I'll be a finger maiden. Thank you. I'm sure I'll be a... And then I guess if we rest here, she'll she'll move on. Look at those calf muscles, baby. Look at those beefy calves. It's actually so realistic. I have the beefiest calves for no reason whatsoever, dude. My character is so realistic. Yep, she gone. Okay. Uh, she is a hundred percent, she's a hundred percent gone this way to fucking, so that note that we've left, uh, that we've been given, the three fingers who hold us in thrall, off she goes, off she goes to become more mad, I guess, in her journey to become a finger maiden, so, um... I guess we put a pin in that one for now until we eventually get to to Lendell. I'm just gonna leave a little note next to her name stating Len Lendell so I can remember that it is tied to that. And I think so we've gotta do this whole thing to get up here to then go to the volcano manor. There's Lendell over here. We have still not even touched over here, man. <laughs> And then there's all of this. Is there another underground place in this game? We don't even fucking know yet. All I know is I'm a finger maiden wearing a turtle shell and I got beefy calves, man. And we're working our way through some quest lines and it's wrinkling my brain. Uh, this automatic merchant. I don't know where Dialis, uh, Dialos is. I don't know where our Dialysis is. <laughs> He's somewhere. We'll have to see how that goes. Uh, I scoured Leonia and just couldn't find him. So I feel like he's just moved on somewhere else. Like, I mean, for example, I mean, we first found him in Roundtable Hold. So we don't really have sort of anything to go off of, of where he would be. Ah, oh, man. And I still don't have any further clues in regards to potentially the Carrion Study Hall to get up into that tower. I've got this mana to do, which seems like a good idea. I'm going to quickly dip into... I'm going to quickly dip into the table of Lost Grace. I'm going to quickly... Chill out here. You can rest at the table? Oh, Dialis is back! Oh! Dialis has just returned here. You can rest at the table of Lost Grace. I've been jumping on the table to see if you can rest at it here. What the fuck? How do you do this? What does it look like? Oh, I'm just standing. <laughs> I didn't know that you could do this. <laughs> Dude, I'm like 40 hours into the game. I didn't know you could rest at the round table hold. 
table. <gasps> we can alter the finger maiden robes. Okay, so altering it just makes them worse, dude. I fucking I hate that. I thought altering them would make them like more impressive. Ah, well then. May the golden order shine through you. What is it? The map indicate will lead you to go. Bro, I'm, I'm honestly disappointed in myself sometimes because I'm like, I'm gonna go and look through the every single square inch of Leonia to find Dialos. <laughs> and he just came back home, dude. <laughs> I really need to come back to the round table hold more, man. <laughs> Shit. Anytime an NPC moves that originates from here, just fucking come back here. Ah, you again, is it? The recusants sent a lackey. Can you believe they invited me to join them? Now, after what they did, I can scarcely believe it myself. Do they think me a fool? You might be surprised to learn I took them up on the offer. What? Then they only had to ask. The location of the recusant hideout. It's on Mount Gelmir, found off the old road that leads west from the town of Windmills. That's where they hide. The manor on the peak. Just you wait, wretched recusants. You'll rue the day you insulted my name by laying hands on Lanya. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood, after all. Fuck. Okay. I thought he was mad at me for a second there. I thought he sent us a lackey. I'm like, what the fuck did I do? Um, he also needs to go to the Volcano Manor. Holy fuck. So he's also there with uh, going on Mount Gelmir, which is where Praetor Rikard is. So they're the recusants that murdered Lanya. Okay. It's on Mount Gelmir, found off the old road that leads west from the town of Windmills. That's where they hide. The manor on the peak. Just you wait, wretched recusants. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood. Okay. So that means next time we see Dialos will be up fucking somewhere around here. Like this fucking the the volcano manor up here. Okay, gotcha. I could have just come back here for that. In the same way that I've in the same way that I've constantly come back to this fucking place being like, where is Nefeli Lu? Where is she? Somewhere. Journey to the capital, Landell. To the east of the Altus Plateau, the Two Fingers will deny your passage no longer. You may be our best hope. This guy probably has my favorite, if not, like, just like, one of my favorites, if not my favorite voice in the whole game. I think Gideon Ofni's voice is just so cool. I love how he says Laindell. It's so satisfying, dude. I just love how he says things. Just listen to this guy. General Radan, the famed Red Lion and Scourge of the Stars, is a ferocious warrior. It's so good! I just love how he talks, man. It's so good. Okay, I've got another bell bearing for these bad boys. The twin maiden husks. Boon Piddler's bell bearing. When we got wrecked by that bell bearing hunter. Okay, so it just gets added to... Why is there a second one? Confuses the hell out of me. Okay, whatever... Because I have a hard track... A hard track? A hard time keeping track of what's new. Hang on, this cost... This used to cost 800. That cost 200? Why are they cheaper now? What the fuck? Finger seal. What's new here? There's a bunch of weapons, I think. A rapier, longsword, dagger, hefty beast bones. Oh, I think the beast bones are new. And you can buy an unlimited amount of beast bones, which is good. Um, I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna get some more smithing stones, man. They're actually kind of cheap. I need to. Uh, this is a perfect opportunity for me to start leveling up some like. I'm just gonna fucking splurge on them, dude. I want to level up some other weapons so I can experiment with other things. Maybe the bell bearing made some stuff cheaper in the shop. Do 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 do. It's actually like my fucking samurai gloves, man, because there's no finger maiden. No finger maiden gloves. Just take them off. There we go. Finger. Turtle finger maiden! Rogier, you got anything for me? Always good to see you safe. Son. I'm the safest. 
If Luna Princess Rani truly is the one who plotted that fateful night, then she should be- Would you be willing to- I'll go and get it, I promise. I'm just getting <laughs> sidetracked with a million other things. There's just so many quest lines, bro. Greetings, are you here? Greetings, are you here for spirit? Tune in. No, lovely. Well. I thought you were dead. Can you fuck off? I'm alive! I'm alive and well. All right. Um... Oh, I need runes, but I have four smithing stones. I can upgrade my katana some more, as he says he talks about wanting to stop using it and using other things. Well, not stop using it, but, you know. Um... Let me just craft. I've got, a, like, 68 of these. Let me craft, like... I think they give me 200 each. Hey yeah Give me six thousand. Back already, no matter. Back already. Yeah, I never left. Alright, give me that. Alright, still need four smithing stones. So we can buy ones and twos, that's good. I need to find where to get more fours. Um but now I can upgrade some of this fucking I can upgrade some of this shit, which is awesome. So we can experiment with some other weapons. Um which will be fun. Um, obviously I need to be able to wield said weapon. I'm actually keen to use the, the, the rapier, because that's already plus eight, and it's got a C for deck scaling. And it's got a glint blade skill. I'm excited. I want to use that. Rapier plus nine. Okay. And now it's already needs. Plus four. Bloodhound's Fang is Somber Smithing Stones. Somber Smithing Stone. And now we need Somber Smithing st Somber Somber Smithing Spone 6. Alright, that's actually pretty fucking strong. So that's at 243 plus 124 scaling. What's our Uji Katana? Our Uji Katana. <laughs> yeah, that's our strongest weapon. I've been depriving myself of a stronger weapon almost this whole time. Because it's more fun that way. Let's upgrade our Uji Katana as well, dude. Oh, I need more. I need more runes. Uh, we'll do our. Fuck it, I'll just get rid of all of these small ones. Uh, we'll do our Uji Katana, because I want to make both of them stronger, so I can also dual wield them. So that's another thing I want to be able to do more of. So let me upgrade that, please. Smithing Stone 2, Smithing Stone 3, Smithing Stone 3, Smithing Stone 3. Oh, nice, dude. So plus 12 and plus 10. That, that'll, that'll, that'll do nicely, that one. That'll do nicely. Part of me kind of wants to upgrade the battle hammer so I have a weapon that does striking damage for those fucking iron virgins. So maybe I'll do that. Oh, I forgot to read Vike's War Spear. Shit. It causes madness buildup. Holy crap. All right, let me read this. I was too busy reading the fingerprint grape. War Spear singed and blistered by fingers used by Vike, Knight of the Round Table Hold. Knight of the Round Table Hold? What? Lord, like Vike himself, it has been tormented by the yellow flame of Frenzy from within. Frenzy flame thrust. Imbue the spear with the flame of Frenzy and leap forwards, plunging it into the ground and setting off a maddening explosion. The skill inflicts both the enemy and the user with madness. Um, can't even wield it because we need 18 faith, baby. Back or no matter. Ain't quite nothing like me forgetting to read all of my brand new items all the time. Oh yeah, my hook claws. I wanted to make those stronger as well. Because it's got quick step. And it also has bleeding. I need to find... Hopefully we can get a bell bearing that allows us to buy smithing stone like 3 and 4 at least. Or I just need to go hang out in some more caves. Let's upgrade the battle hammer with the plus 1. Maybe the plus 2 a bit as well. Oh, now I need to pop some more runes. This is the upgrading our weapons segment for the first time in like 5,000 years. <laughs> we just pop... This is what we saved all of our runes for, baby. So I can just finally get smithing stones and just upgrade shit. Upgrades, people. Uh, upgrade the, that one. Nice. Battle Hammer 7. That does a, some more damage now. So if I need to do some strike damage against something... I'll use that bad boy. The Dismounter. Oh yeah, I wanted to upgrade the Shotel as well, because got, that's got Spinning Slash. That's also a Dex weapon. I'm going to upgrade that a bit. There you go. Can't upgrade it much, but it's honest work. Uh, 
I can wield this sword. Golden tempering actually seems like kind of interesting. Oh, it's a somber smithing stone weapon. Oh, all of these are somber smithing stone weapons, these three. Oops, I was just, I just blindly, I was just blindly doing that and I didn't even realize. All right, I think I'll leave my upgrades at that for now. I should actually upgrade my bow a bit. Hey, oh, that's already gone up to somber smithing stone number two. I should go buy some of those as well. I only bought level one. Do 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 do. Let me buy some more, please. Got to upgrade my bow for when I do my long range stuff. Um, the irony that you talk to them yet they say nothing. Um, I can't sell anything to the finger maidens. Because I guess they're not truly a merchant, are they? This is where all of these hard saved runes are going. <laughs> into buying fucking gear, dude. Um, into buying smithing stones, finally, for the first time in so long. And then hopefully we can find a, um, hopefully we can find a plus three. Which would be sick. Plus three or a um or a plus four bell bearing would be nice. Back already, no matter. Back already. I took you for dead. All right, there we go. Make my longbow a little bit stronger as well. I think that's probably a good idea. Um, and I'll keep those runes so I can eventually level up. Uh, what else have we got to do in this place? I don't think we have any other NPCs that are around here. We've got Fear. Um, may as well get rid of that. Uh, I think I can get rid of Baldekins. I think I'll do pop this bad boy so I can actually um, get rid of that debuff now. Because I don't think we'll get a hug from Fear for a while. Because we've kind of done the whole... The Black Knife Print thing's on hold until we do... Um, Rani's thing. Oh yeah, we got the remembrance for Renala, that's right. Receive power, receive equipment of champions. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's this is different. Oh shit. Hang on. Right. We can now get boss clothing as well. Pointy hat, dude. Pointy hat, gang. A tall crown depicting the moon, worn by Renala, queen of the full moon, increases intelligence. When Renala, head of both the Academy of Rey Lucaria and the Carrion royal family, lost her husband Radagon, her heart went along with him, and then those at the Academy realized that Renala was no champion after all. Oh, that's sad. And now all she does now is just cherish her little egg. Robe indicating the highest order of sorcerer. Well, there's the sorcerer robes I so desperately wanted, but they're a queen's robe, which means I'm going to look fucking fantastic in them. Queen's bracelets and leggings. Uh, what can I get? Take the power of its namesake via finger reader. Prominent champion who can can be the lunar magic. So we can choose to get the regal scepter or Renala's full moon. Sorcery associated with the Carrion Queen uses the caster as a vessel to incarnate a full moon, then sends it floating towards foes. Yeah, I saw I used this one. Why couldn't we get the Kamehameha wave? <laughs> the full moon dispels all sorcery that touches it and temporarily reduces magic damage negation for those it strikes. Queen Renala encountered this enchanting moon when she was young and later it would bewitch the Academy. Magical Scepter of Renala, Queen of the Full Moon. The Glinstone is known as a Carrion Blue, enhancing full moon sorceries. Only those of the highest intelligence may wield this, the finest of all Glinstone staves, and has a spinning weapon. Channel magic into the Glinstone to suspend the Scepter in mid-air and cause it to spin violently. Those it touches will suffer successive magic attacks. 60 intelligence. <laughs> 60 intelligence. I'm not that smart. 70 intelligence for Renala's full moon. Well, fuck me, dude. <laughs> I'm just going to keep it for now. I'm not going to even use it. 
Queen Marika is the vessel of the Elden Ring, carrier of its vision. A god in truth. But after the Elden Ring's shattering, she was imprisoned in the Erd Tree. A grim punishment for shattering the Order. Despite her godhood. Oh, wow. The fingers speak. Marika's trespass demanded a heavy sentence. But even in shackles, she remains a god and the vision's vessel. Confer great runes to become Elden Lord and join Queen Marika as her consort. I'm getting married. Her fingers have willed it so. An arranged now marriage. An arranged marriage from the two fingers itself. The two fingers literally went finger that maiden. <laughs> I'm getting married. This is my wedding dress. I'm already ready to get married. Dude, we're getting married to a queen. I'm going to become royalty. Did you hear that, bitches? I'm getting married to Queen Marika. It's Dark Souls 3 all over again, baby. All right. Let's... <laughs> let's go. I'm getting married. I'm not going to be maidenless. Um, we're gonna head up to this manor finally, dude. Let's go to this manor. Let's go to Renala's, not Renala, sorry, um, Renna's place. Gonna hit her up. Let's go. The owner of the lakes. I told you guys that we would go to the manor this episode. Just like on the, the tail end of it. <laughs> We were too busy solving a blind woman's problem. We gotta help out those in need by accidentally feeding them genuine eyeballs of madness. You know how it be. And then I gotta prepare for my wedding with Queen Marika. You also know how that be. Yeah. I look beautiful man I look beautiful oh I don't know why I left I was literally actually going to buy I was gonna buy Renala's queen robes and then I forgot oh well next time I'll buy them when I'm next there pressed Y to try and get my horse and ended up resting at the thing again I am just but a lonely maiden, riding through the forest at night, seeking marriage, King's Realm Ruins. Turns out that the, the, the whole lone samurai shtick, it was just an act. I found out who I really want to be. Scary looking finger maiden. Hiya! With a torch! Oh god. Oh, what the fuck? Oh god. I've got invisible sorcerers. Oh no. You there. You there. Alright. Don't do that. Okay, don't do this shit to me. Wait. hey -yah! Get torched, son. Get lit on fire. Ah. Don't mess with the finger maiden with an attitude. Let's go. I'll burn you on fire. I'm doing hardcore roleplay for my character right now. Samurai just has like a a bonus hobby. You tried running, you fucking. <laughs> My samurai likes to moonlight as a um as a finger maiden. When when nobody's around during the day. Yeah. Just a harmless bit of fun in it. Oh, we got another spirit in here. Alright, so we've got some ghostly spirit boys. Just a fire-breathing finger maiden. Is me? Ah, Iji. Iji, forgive me. These royal grounds were placed in our trust, but we stood no chance. The King's Realm Ruins. Let's head downstairs. Ah, what the fuck is that? 
the fuck? Oh shit! Oh my god, the floor is trapped. Oh, that's so funny. Dude, they literally have- they've literally got like magic traps in the floor. You've activated my trap card. In real life. Uh, yeah. Oh god. Nobody doubts the power of the flame, baby. Flame. Dear flame. We're about to get wrecked by magic shit in the ground. Oh, they're the blades? Yeah, okay. Oh, they're the blades! They're triggered by the daggers in the ground. Okay, gotcha. I can see a whole bunch of them. That wolf's just eyeing me down. You don't want to get burned. I'd keep your distance. I know how to use this thing. I need to find the way underground in these ruins without getting blown up by magic. might be in this main area that I got scared out of because of these fucking guys. They're still they're still running around. Alright, they're all dead. We got our refill of our flask. Confirmed. Area cleansed. Alright, here we go. They should be in here. Is he T-posing? He is T-posing. Fucking hell. He lived as he died. T-posed. Rhymed Crystal Bird. Eight. Hiya! That's right, lock onto the walls at a distance and not the one right in front of me. Good work, game. Where is... I'm in these ruins. Where is the fucking downstairs? Oh, that pop-in for those herbs was atrocious. They were right in front of me. What the f- Oh my fucking god! It's a fucking troll reading a book. This game is just is the gift that keeps on giving, man. The game that keeps on giving. There's a troll reading a fucking book over there, man. How do I get to this guy? What the fuck? Did I just miss the pathway like right in front of me? Hold on. Wait a minute. Illusory wall? Fucking hell, man. Illusory wall. Dude, the illusory walls in this game are so easy. They're like, so obviously there. No complaints. I need that in my life, dude. Especially considering I have no messages polluting my landscape. Um, I need to find the entrance to these ruins before we go disturbing that lovely polite gentleman pondering his book. Okay, up here. Y'all seen Entrance to Ruins? How dare you even try. I will light you on fire. You seen this trick? How did you not die? <laughs> How did you not die? What the fuck? Okay, this is... This is killing me, dude. This is killing me. Where's the entrance to these fucking... Ruins, bro. <laughs> Where's the entrance? I'll find it if I die doing so. Find the entrance to the ruins or die trying. Literally, as I'm just like, hey guys, we're gonna go to fucking um, Renner's Manor. And then the narrator slowly whispers, he did not go to Renner's Manor because he couldn't find the entrance to some ruins. <laughs> Is there a trick to finding out where specifically, like, the staircase is? I thought it would have been, like, close to the guy. Like, the spirit. This is painful, dude. And yes, for anyone watching who knows exactly where the entrance is, it's painful for you too. But it's also painful for me. I'm the one trying to find it. Back, foul beasts! Get back! 
I know how to use this flame torch. Oh, is it right here? Look at this. Wait. Look at that. Does that look like... Is it an illusory floor? Holy fuck, man. Illusory floor. It's got the it's got the outline of the staircase. I knew I wasn't going crazy. I knew I wasn't going crazy. Fucking hell. They don't waste your time. They put you in a fight straight away. They're like, all right, here's for fucking you around. Now here's your fight. Royal Revenant. Oh, God. That thing's cursed, bro. Royal Revenant. Holy shit. Oh, it's vomiting bile. It's vomiting bile again. This is one of those things from... Oh, this is one of those things from those ruins in Leonia. One of those grafted motherfuckers. Can you... What the fuck? I hate these things. Do not grab me. Ah! Too many attacks. You're banned from attacking. Too many attacks. Shit, man. Genuinely too many attacks. I'm sick of your shit. Oh, the poison vomit, dude. Oh, how dare you. Constantly interrupting my attacks too. I just I just feel like that's rude as fuck. I hate this thing's moveset, man. It's just it's just it's just not fun. <laughs> oh no. This thing's moveset is awful. Fuck off, I was trying so hard to beat it with a torch. You suck! Oh, I hate this thing. This enemy sucks, my, like, so hard, dude. Like, even, not even the boss version, but the standard enemy version of this fucking thing. Like, is the worst. Absolute garbage, man. All right, well, you fucking asked for it then. I was gonna play around with you with a torch, but you've asked for it. Fuck's sake, man. I almost killed it with a torch. I wasn't going to say anything. I was just going to silently achieve a victory. But now you've unlocked the the dual katana wielding maiden instead. Sunlight is almost upon us. I must quickly beat this beast before I have to turn back into a samurai. Where the fuck is the entrance? <laughs> I've forgotten where the entrance is! Fuck's sake. <laughs> oh no! If it turns to sunlight, I'll melt away! Quickly, get on the ground! I must continue to be a finger maiden in this fight. This fucking thing, bro. Get rolled upon. How did that hit? What the fuck? <laughs> if you, if I die right now, dude, I swear to God. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
I was like, I just knew it was going to happen. I was like, if I die right now, man, one hit away and it's going to disappear and fucking kill me. <laughs> no, it's daylight. I'm melting away. No, someone is going to see me in the finger maiden dress. I'm only supposed to be doing this under the cover of darkness. It's a good thing I'm in these ruins. Well, there's only dead people around. Except I keep fucking forgetting where that entrance is. It feels like it's right here, but it's not. That's because it's right next to it. This fucking guy couldn't even let me own him with a katana on second try, man. He really just had to play with me like that. Bitch boy has such an er erratic, I almost said erotic, <laughs> fighting style. <laughs> this bitch boy has such an erotic fighting style. Yeah, you spew that bo bile on me, son. I hate you. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I fucking hate you, fucking die, you piece of shit! <laughs> Get teabagged on, my lady! Yes! My finger maiden journey of the night is complete. I become a samurai once again. <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize we got this. Nice. Nice. Oh, that's the wrong pants. Uh, where are my pants? I put the wrong pants on. God, it's dark in here. I can have a horse down here. Could I have done that fight on a horse? Holy shit. Alright, what were you blocking, you royal revenant fuck? A chest, which is going to teleport me to another dimension. <laughs> Frozen needle weapon. Hell yeah, dude. Thrusting sword. Forged by E.G. The, the Carrion... Ah, the Carrion Royal Blacksmith. Okay, so... This blacksmith that uh, Blythe has mentioned, that is at Rey Lucaria, which is tied to Carrion Royalty, must be... Must be E.G. Uh, the Carrion Royal Blacksmith can inflict frost upon enemies and launch its blade with a strong attack. The blade immediately regenerates. So you, you shoot the blade, like, pachoo. you launch the blade and it grows back. Impaling thrust, skill that lets piercing armaments overcome enemy shields, build power, then lunge forward for a strong thrust that pierces an enemy's guard. Far out, dude. I need to experiment with these rapiers too. That was cool. That was cool. Ah, daylight approaches. I am back as the samurai. Dude, the dodge strike? Oh, that's so fucking cool. Oh, that is like actually so good. So there's like your normal two handing attacks. Uh, yeah, but then when you roll and do an attack, oh, that is immensely satisfying, dude. There's a jumping version. There's a jumping version! How am I supposed to play with other weapons when I can do this? How am I supposed to... How am I supposed to play with other weapons when I can do that? <laughs> That's so sick. Alright, um... I need to run through the other side of these ruins, this way, to go and have a chat to a dude reading a book. Where the fuck is... Okay, and this does go to... Um, Renala's. Not Renala's. Rena's mansion. My god. Ow. Disappear. Touch Grace. Get out of here. Don't you dare attack me. Okay, I can't believe that we got this guy wielding a book right now. Oh, wait. 
that is a anvil. Maybe, maybe this is our carrion royal blacksmith. Okay, I need... Then who the fuck is our blacksmith? Is there a blacksmith at Rei Lucaria Academy? Or is it just... Hmm. Or is this the blacksmith he was talking about? Or is there just... Multiple blacksmiths? Just all... Hanging out. I mean, it would make sense that you'd have more than one blacksmith in this world. We've got Hugh at the round table hold. We've got... Uh, this guy? Which is potentially... Which is potentially itchy. He's reading a book. Oh my fucking god, dude. It was far too big to be called a sword, man. That is a slab of iron right there. I mean, it pales in size to you in comparison, but I mean, it, to, to me, that is far too heavy to be considered a sword. Well, look at you. We don't receive many visitors. I presume you are, uh, tarnished? What brings you here? Oh, pardon me. It's hardly my place to ask, is it? I am E.G. A e. blacksmith who once served the Carian Royals. An old codger who refuses to retire his rusty hammer. So here I am, still quietly plying my trade. On this spot, perhaps you'd like a display? These bones are old, but still able. I'm getting... This, it is! It is the same one, because I'm pretty sure this is what Blythe told us to say, for him to take care, right? So this is the black, the same blacksmith. Alright, I'm glad we didn't waste time scouring Ray Lucario Academy for a blacksmith, dude. Alright, it's this guy. E.G. I'm getting Dark Souls 1 flashbacks to the giant blacksmith. It makes me so happy, dude. Please take care. Oh, watch out there. When I'm absorbed in my smithing, I lose sight of all else. If you come too close, I'm apt to cause you harm. I am, after all, terribly large compared to you, Tarnished. You don't know how hard it is not to break anything while I work. Did he ask us to please take care, or was that us just saying please take care? I now I can't. Uh, now I don't know if I remembered that right. Just because it was a talking prompt, I think that is why I've assumed that. What did Blythe say after we killed, helped him kill Darrowil? He asked us to talk to the to the blacksmith and say that say something. I think. Brave tarnished. A word of warning, if you please. This territory once belonged to the Carian royal family. Their manor lies not far beyond this point. When the Rea Lucari Academy turned on the Carians, the Knights of the Cuckoo descended on this tract. After leveling it, the Cuckoo, they carried on to the manor. The Carians were taken off guard, but their strength had not waned, and they repelled the Knights' onslaught by conjuring an enchanted snare that remains potent to this day. That is why I say, Tarnished, don't go near the manor unless you wish to lie with the corpses of the heedless knights of the Cuckoo. The Cuckoo. Oh, it's so much cooler when you guys say it. Ah, oh, there we go. Here <laughs> we go. Now we... Okay. So, uh, here we go. Um, it's so much cooler when he says it because, like, people refer to, like, you know, the clocks as, like, cuckoo clocks. Cuckoo sounds sounds cooler. The way that he says it is cooler. When I say it, it's lame. <laughs> He's like, avoid the the manor. I have to. I have to go there though, so I'm gonna have to ignore your advice, friend, and I will probably die trying. About advice. I've explained the peril of the enchanted snare that remains at the Royal Carrion Manor. Whatever you do, brave tarnished. Stay away from that death trap. I have to. Blythe sent me. Blythe actually did that. Did he? Quite a rare occurrence for such a guarded soul as he. Perhaps he sensed something unusual about you. At any rate, if you're friendly with Blythe, I've something else that might suit you. 
Yo! What do you mean? I can just buy something? Is it the crest, then? I should have checked before to ask, otherwise now I don't even know. But you, this is where you can buy somber smithing stones, dude. Okay, nice. They're expensive, dude. A talisman adorned with a royal crest lowers FP consumed by skills, an honor said to have been once been awarded to carrion knights who served as direct retainers to the kingdom's princesses. Now there is only one princess, Rani, daughter of Renala. And then he can he can also blacksmith stuff instead of Hugh. I wonder if you can talk to Hugh, another blacksmith, about him. Oh, he puts his book away. That's so cool. That's sick, man. Oh, I can do a detailed view. Nice. I'd expose the enchanted whatever you do. Does he just maybe he gives us a discount? Or maybe he offers that to buy. I'll never know now, because I should I didn't check to purchase anything before that happened. And that's so cool. That is way more than I ever expected. I was like, oh wow, it's gonna be like a cool NPC troll guy who's reading a book, but he's the blacksmith. Yeah. I want to see if we can get on this anvil. <coughs> Alright. I can't talk to him. I want to see if we can talk to him and then he'll, he drops his hammer down. Damn it. <laughs> it, won't, it won't work. Okay, so apparently there's a trap. There's a snare outside the front of the manor, so it, it might not be- I told you guys that we're gonna- I told you guys that we were going there, this episode, but it might not end up being that simple. We found a smithing marg uh, master. I hope we see Blythe again, and then we can catch up with him. Okay, so literally rains like- I see. Oh, okay. Oh, no, this is fine. We'll be fine, EG. We just have to look up. We'll be fine. No worries. We'll be fine. This ain't a trap. This is child's play. Unless I get distracted, which I am, because I'm trying to actually look at stuff. Oh, there's a giant sword for us to read. This lore story. Oh, I actually got hit. We can do this. Do we dare risk reading story right now? The resting place of the uh, contentable cuckoos lost in the siege of uh, Carrion Manor. Ah, we got it. We got this. We got this, dude. We got this, man. We made it. That was easy. Okay. I actually thought it might have been like it's something we had to like. Um, main carrier mana gate. I thought it might have been something we had to actually stop before we could get here, but it's fine. Is it gonna go off again? Yeah. Okay, we have to, like, disable the trap if we want to, like, read this thing. The resting place of the contemptible cuckoos lost in the siege of carrier mana. Cool. I can keep the message up while I move away from the thing. That's cool. Alright, I made it. I made it to carrier mana, baby. Let's fucking go, Carrion Royal Family. The fuck are those things? Oh my fucking god. That's a fucking hand spider. What the fuck? Oh my fucking god! <laughs> oh fuck! Alright. Uh. uh <laughs> and they've got gravity magic in those hands, boy!
<sighs> Do you think EG could have given me a warning about the fucking spider hands, dude? I don't care about that snare trap. I care about the fact that I'm being chased by giant hands, bro, with gravity magic. What the fuck? Oh, no, I see them. Look, they're in the ground. Look. No, oh, no, and I willingly ran into the trap because I thought it was the other way. Ah! <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Get me the fuck out of here! Watch me not fit through this fucking gap. Oh, I can fit through the gap. I'm not a fatty dude. Let's go! Where did you even come from? How did you get through the gap? <laughs> Get me the fuck away, bro. Am I safe in here, dude? Oh, I'm safe. I'm safe from the big hands. Oh my fucking god, bro. I'm not safe. How the fuck is it doing that? Oh my god, bro. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. How do you how do you fight these fucking things, bro? How do you fight these hands? Damn, these fingers got hands, man. How do I fucking fight them without dying? I fucking hate you, Miyazaki. You fuck. Come at me, hands. Oh, God. <laughs> don't come at me, hands. All right, those ones die really quickly. Those big ones, though, you don't fuck with those, man. <laughs> what the fuck? No! What the fuck, dude? Ow! How's it even... How does it do that? How does it... How does it do that? How does it physically... You know what? I w I'm saying how does it do that, but then I'm kind of forgetting the fact that they literally possess gravity rings. Of course they can do that! No! Oh, fucking God! There's so many of them! What the fuck? <laughs> get me the fuck out of here, bro. I'm trying to get to a point where I could just fight one of them. And I can't because they just keep fucking spawning. Oh god. I just need to lure them into a, like a little area or fucking something. Haha, <laughs> you can't crawl through here, fatties. That's right. To this day, I still haven't killed one of the giant hands. Let's fucking fight. Let's go. Alright, maybe I need to use a shield for this bad boy. Maybe I need a shield. Fuck, I could really just go on the long way to get this shield, aren't I? Are you susceptible to bleeding? You are susceptible to bleeding. We've killed a hand! Oh, they dropped somber smithing stones, dude. Nice. Okay. Whew! We've killed our first one. That means we'll be fine. Damn, that takes a lot of stamina. Do you mind? Go for the little pinkies. Go for their little pinkies. How are you still alive? What the fuck? Oh my god. Okay. Anyone? Oh, fuck. I wonder what the lore surrounding these fucking hands are. It's like, they're like two hands in one. How many fingers they got? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three. Can you stop moving? You're gonna make me lose count. One, two, th one, two, three. <laughs> All right. It's like two hands in one. One, two, one, two, three. Stop fucking disappearing. I'm trying to count your hands, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> what kind of nightmares have been concocted in this establishment, man? Who's making hands? Damn. What the fuck is going on here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's a hand and a. That's two hands and and a bit. Can you backstab the hands? Do you reckon I can backstab backstab this hand right now? Stab it in the wrist. Is that even possible? <gasps> Fuck off, dude! Oh my god! <laughs> That's a 
wall, dude. No! <gasps> Who fucking did this shit, man? I've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> fucking did this shit. It's alright, well, this is a game where there's fucking magical pots. Of course there's magical hands. I hate that shit. Isn't there something like that? There's something like that in Dark Souls 3 as well, isn't there? There's some fucking terrible hand creature that I hate. It never ends, does it? But some things do end. Like this episode. Because we made it to the, to the manor. But it's time to end this episode. However, next time, I think we can confidently state, now that we've actually made it to the Carrier Manor, is we are going to explore it. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Elden Ring. It's time for me to go to bed. It's 2.30 in the morning. Another Elden Ring sesh. Done and dusted. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I hope you're enjoying the playthrough. I certainly am. And I can't wait for more. I'll see you next time.